What? What is that? Ew. What the? Oh my god. <gasps> Unbelievable. I'm taking these back. Oh, let's check the other box. Unfortunately, there was something in the other box too. But I promised a tumbling block DIY video. So welcome to the channel, people. Today I have four Dollar Tree DIY tumbling block projects for you. And as always, I'm using my two favorite things to attach the blocks, which is type on wood glue and hot glue. For our first project, we're gonna need one of these. And this comes from Dollar Tree as well. It is just a little chopper. I'm gonna use it as a base for my tumbling block project. And to attach our blocks, I'm gonna use this Gorilla Glue Gel because it works the best on metal, but I'm gonna also attach some hot glue with it to get us a tight little instant bond. And first we're creating a kickstand. And I'm doing that just by leaning the chopper to the side a little bit and attaching that one block. Look at that, it's on the lean. Got it going on here. And then we're gonna let that dry. But while it's drying, I decided to take a minute and kind of go along and figure out what would be the best pattern for our little photo piece, because that's kind of what we're creating here. It's a decoupage piece that basically is just gonna look like a photo ingrained on our tumbling blocks. The way I attach my tumbling blocks, there's usually some glue goo that smooshes out. And I use this little clay scraper or other little clay scrapers to actually get the pieces. Now, yes, there's bits everywhere. It makes a um, nice mess, but they're not on my tumbling blocks. And yeah, my hands get yucky too from the wood glue. But I just wanted to let you know, they are clay scraping tools. I have people ask me all the time, clay scraping tools are in my Amazon store down below. And you can just type that into the Amazon browser and it will pop up as well. I made four rows of three tumbling blocks each and I changed the direction of which each set of three were going for the backing for our photo display. I guess that's that's what I'm calling it, my photo display art. That's what this is, tumbling block photo display art. And just to really ensure that these were not going anywhere, I added wood glue in between the layers. Now I let this dry for about two hours and I printed this decoupage printout off my website. I actually do have downloadable prints on my website that you can print out. And this is a piece of rice paper. It's actually one of my favorite designs that I've created and I just couldn't wait to do something with it. And I was like, this tumbling block project will be just perfect for me to use this on. <laughs> to start off, I'm gonna take a little bit of this Waverly's plaster chalk paint and give our piece a little coat. Not thoroughly, just a little coat for a base. And then I ripped up the decoupage paper for the sections that I want and I'm using the Mod Podge and this acrylic brush to attach our piece. I do want to say that I like painting this a lot of times before I decoupage because it gives me a clean background to apply my paper on. And I try to make sure that whatever I'm painting it is gonna blend well with the decoupage paper. Especially if I'm using a napkin. I get a lot of comments about people saying, why did you paint it? Why didn't you just do it over the wood? The reason why is I like to make sure that I do not see lines through the wood coming through the decoupage paper, the rice paper and things like that. It is just a preference. You guys decoupage the way you want to decoupage. To make sure that this was really on here and to give it a little bit of a wear, I'm taking a 400 grit of sandpaper and just going around the tumbling block lines and kind of sanding it down, giving a little bit of visual aid or visual <laughs> to be able to see the blocks coming through, see the little lines and stuff. And you can use a clay scraping tool and press it in there as well. You do not have to. I just personally wanted it to look like this was really blended into these tumbling blocks. This paper is definitely thicker than a napkin. I would not recommend doing this necessarily with a napkin to blend because it might just completely shred your napkin, especially if you're using a lower grit sandpaper, like 100, 150, 200. 
200. But if you do wanna use this technique on a napkin, which I have done before, you wanna make sure that your project is super dry. You wanna make sure that it is a really high grit sandpaper and you wanna be super, super light with it and gentle. So you do not just pull the whole napkin off or shred it. Tie everything in together just a little bit more. I'm dabbing some antique Waverly wax around our gaps and blending it in to our paper. I do wanna let you guys know that I go over these with a sealer. This does not have the final sealer on it. I wanted to let it dry thoroughly before I did that, but look how beautiful. For this next project, you're gonna need one of these shadow boxes from Dollar Tree. We're gonna create a shadow box shelf with the tumbling blocks. I thought it would be really cool to just use the tumbling blocks for something other than just complete tumbling block pieces. And this thing decided to give me hell <laughs> the entire time. But in case you don't know me, I don't give up easy. <laughs> so here I come in with the butter knife and I'm prying at it. Like there's gotta be a way. What are you made of? Ooh, ooh, ah. Oh no! <sighs> okay, so little learning people, the, they have this glued in. So if you want to take this off, don't do what I just did. Like slide a knife in there. See how it's like glued? It's going to pop out. I'm going to glue that. I'm going to salvage this. Watch this. <laughs> We gonna, we gonna make this happen. Ooh. So I took the Gorilla Glue Gel and the hot glue and I put them together and I held it in place and it was drying. And while I was drying, I took some of the faux leather vinyl, cut it to size, glued it on the back, painted our frame once it was all dry, and then glued it back in. And it was like the last hour of my life never happened. <laughs> <laughs> like over I was like oh this is great I felt so satisfied <laughs> once I got this in here that it caused me such trouble it was supposed to be super easy but it wasn't now back to the tumbling block part I took the tumbling blocks and just lined them on the bottom of our shadow box and I took hot glue and a little bit of Gorilla Glue gel to make sure that they were all stuck in there really well and weren't gonna go nowhere. Now these don't go in there exactly even, so I had to space them or adjust the spacing and then painted over them to match the outside of the little frame. I have been holding on to this little glass sticker forever and I knew that I wanted to create a little shadow box with it. I just wasn't sure when I was gonna get the opportunity to, and it was time. I love how this piece turned out. People, today I teamed up with one of my dear friends, Angela Jones DIY, to bring you some tumbling tower block inspiration. Now, we wanted to do mega <laughs> blocks that didn't go as I planned, so I brought you some regular tumbling block inspiration. Her channel is linked down below if you want to stop on over and see what she created using some tumbling blocks. If you enjoy my content, you're going to love hers. For our small pillar that we're about to create, you're going to need four sets of three tumbling blocks and one of these cheap little plastic things from Dollar Tree. Pull the succulent out, flip it upside down, and then glue the tumbling blocks on to the bottom of the planner. You can leave it like this if you want, but I want it to just add a little bit of embellishments on here. So I'm just taking some half a wood beads and I glued around the center of this. And then we're gonna paint it. I'm using some white chalk paint and I wanna add a little bit of distressing. So I'm taking this country gray. I put a little dab on a tissue and just kind of dragging it along just to give it a little something on there. And I really didn't care for how the gap was underneath the bottom. So I took a little bit of twine and just spun it around and glued glued it on there and I just love this piece. I can't wait to use this in staging going forward for the channel. One of actually my absolute favorite thing to DIY from Dollar Tree is palettes, period. I love doing stuff with their wood palettes. Chances are if you found me because of Dollar Tree, it's probably because of the palettes. <laughs> so I thought, 
let's take these tumbling blocks and create a palette looking piece. So I took four tumbling blocks, glued them together and made five total rows. And I wanted to create a backing and took this shim and cut it down. I don't know why I do this to myself, these gator shears, it's like the worst thing ever to cut them in. So <laughs> now mind you, I do want to point this out. People, I eyed this, look at that. Look how close that cut. Yep, look at that. It was like a centimeter, just a smish off. I, I won that. <laughs> I did it. It's almost even, exactly even. I'm proud of me. Okay, enough about my fabulousness. <laughs> okay, I glued these on to the shim and let it dry. Once it dried, I painted the piece up and then let that dry again. And we're gonna add some distressing later. So I'm using a potted plant. If you want to put yourself a little pocket on here, use a can, can, you can, a tin can, <laughs> aluminum, whatever, whatever makes you fuzzy. Add that on to your little tumbling block palette wall piece. You go right ahead. I am not gluing this pot on here. I'm actually going to end up using a piece of metal to kind of loop on to the back. So this way I can change it out for all seasons. And if I want to do something else on that little palette we can but since fall and Christmas are right around the corner I felt like let's paint this joint up a little rustic red add us a little fall colored sticker on here that says family and we can just hang this right in the front of our little tumbling block palette piece as always, people, thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. I know it isn't the mega blocks, but it is tumbling blocks. And I hope you enjoyed these new unique ways to create DIY projects with them. Don't forget to check out my girl, Angela Jones DIY. And until next time, bye.